Hello, mobsters, and welcome back to the Movies Archives. This is your host, Movies Rex. Uh, whoops. And <laughs> we are playing Auction Not Included. I'm just getting the, uh, some sweet orders started. Um, not that they're actually filling these things. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we start getting some specific storage space set up, but uh, we have a specific research to do. Uh, we're trying to get decontamination research so we, that we can start getting rid of all this polluted oxygen from our air. Uh, we've got a bunch coming from these uh, because we don't have really an oxidizer. I did see... Where was it? Nope. Wrong. There. Uh, I saw it. Yeah, we've got a cold biome straight this way. So we have to go through all this area to get there. Um, and I feel like I should fill this area with chlorine. Uh, with all the polluted oxygen going on. I'm going to lock this door. Prevent dupes from passing right through here. Now there is polluted oxygen here. We want, er, slime lung polluted oxygen. It's not actually a problem yet, but you can see that some of the dupes have recently consumed slime, slime lung and it is negatively affecting them. So we definitely need, need to get this uh, decontamination stuff started. Um, we also, I think, need to get, and this is going to make at least one of our dupes all wet. Uh, plumbing, liquid pump. Sure. That add in there so that we can supply some water to these. And I am going to actually, while I can, make that tile. It could just be sandstone. I was planning to use this as a power room. But if we have um, some colder area here, that might be better as a power room. It might not be too far away. We'll be master of the architect job. Our apprentice architect. Does Ruby have anything else? Someone's missing apprentice architect. Uh, Ruby, what do you like doing? Supply and farm. We already have a farmer. Maybe we'll just put you in tidy, because we're actually having a little bit of problem with that. Uh, we have a lot of stuff that needs tidying. Not that we have the appropriate storage space. Um, maybe one of these will be metal ore. Uh, some of these will be raw minerals. Okay, a couple of them raw minerals. Uh, we'll have one for seeds for now. Not sure what else we have. Uh, which is complete, which is great. That gives us the deodorizer, which we need to build, like, immediately. Um, and we want to put it... Here? We want to put it... Here? We want to put it... Here? And maybe one in the bathroom as well. Um, and that might do for all the deodorizer that we need. Anytime polluted oxygen comes across it, it'll turn uh, the polluted oxygen into regular oxygen until it pretty much goes away. Um, but the, these, this polluted oxygen just has to, well, go. Get your plumbing going to there. So that's going to be our clean water supply. And it might just be enough to prime it. Or prime this pumping system. Because up next, I want to start w working towards getting a self-sustaining system. Uh, so getting distillation going. Uh, is that a timer? Well, that's a sensor. Um, we might want some timer so that we just turn on our oxygen just enough because right now I'm just flipping this on and off as seemingly necessary for our dupes. And let's see, you could probably be re-enabled and some of this water can be swept. Uh, we can get some power lines running. Well, I don't think anything is using this line anymore. Um, just trying to keep the chlorine down here. So, power, wire, ugly as all heck. Maybe it's time to tile down here. Because this is going to kill, this is going to kill our food. 
Let's make sure the food tiles are built first. Please? Yeah, that was what I was worried about. Oh, dupes. <laughs> I guess I'll have to be mopped up and then I'll have to be pumped back in. Uh, I want another tile right here. And that'll have to be mopped up. Alright, this, you can see the area surrounding the odorizer is starting to decontaminate the area. So that should help with our polluted oxygen problem. It'll take a while for that to, for, all to, for all of that to go out. And how big can uh, barracks be? They can be 64 tiles. You are 48, so you could probably get a few more tiles. Maybe get another bed here. Another space. And then a door. Tuck out. And then just get this. Oops. Get that deconstructed. So we can expand the bedroom. That's not right. Cancel. Got the research for water sieve. Excellent! Uh, now we need power. <laughs> Prove that our dupes aren't always just running. Because this can actually be... With the water sieve, we can actually have a self-sustaining loop once the water is actually pumped up. And priming the system. So much for that. Uh, not the mopping situation. Trying to be a little bit more careful, but apparently the uh, fertilizer broke again. Um, maybe what we do instead is we just build a tile up here. Yeah, our dupes are going to get sick fast. I'm um, thinking maybe we need another med bed in here. How big can these... <sighs> okay, we need a deodorizer in there, definitely. We could do this, make it a little bit bigger, some tiles, make it look a little nicer. Definitely get the deodorizer in the, uh, in the med bay, because you kind of don't want your sick dupes to get sicker. Uh, with everyone having hyperthermia, this might be more in use than I really want it to be. Alright, that got mopped up. Uh, a little bit more needs to happen. Water situation up here is fine. Um, probably actually want this to happen earlier so they, they do up the top tiles. In fact, go ahead and go like this. Then we're getting into granite area up here. Get a door. Copied here. And that'll give us space to put one more dupe, or a couple more dupes. One, two, two more dupes if we really wanted. How's the water? Yeah, it's still flooded, but better than it was. Hope no one got sick from that. Uh, polluted oxygen situation looks like it's cleared up a lot. Um, this one's definitely cleared up a lot. Yeah, that's not safe. Um, give you a 7 for build. Uh, put that back onto auto. And then we'll have at least this deodorizer working on cleaning this area up. Stop letting the slime lung in. It's bad. Uh, research is done. Internal combustion. Great. In fact, I was going to put the internal combustion here. Um, slime sweep at a seven priority. Seven. 
in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off of sweep only, uh, and I'm going to put it at a six. Might as well get uh, brute rope force refinement before getting air systems up. We don't really. Well, we do have a water oxygen supply. It's just hot. And that's going to be the problem with it. This will be available to us. So we're going to work, want to work our way through to here. Um, slime will be a problem. And I'm going to wait for this to be more or less cleared out of uh, slime lung. You can see it's falling. We don't have to deal with anything in here just yet. But it is, it has spread everywhere throughout our base. Um, I'm thinking maybe we need more deodorizers. Especially around here. Uh, I'm actually going to say... Deodorizer down here. Deodorizer here. Because this is drifting that way. And that's coming from this polluted water. How are our people? Not good. And I want to get another med bed going on. Maximum size 96 tiles. Good. I'm actually saying cancel that and make it tighter. Because we are going to have a little bit of problems that. Okay, this is uninfected slime. Which will be good. We'll give you a seven. Slime lung! Knew we'd happen. Good. Travala's being a good uh, dupe. I'm taking care of Ruby. It's going to take Ruby forever to get, get over this. Recycles. But she's going to be joined by Joshua. There's no... Let's get these beds made up. We're going to have to say uh, move the mess table here. here. Joshua made his own bed. That is seven. Then we can at least... Uh, have one more bed. We'll have four beds and they can take care of each other. Right? That makes sense. Um, as long as we have slime lung in the base, it'll be susceptible to reinfection. There go, mess table. Thank you, and deconstruct you. Uh, may we actually want to replace this with an airlock so that our infectious air does not come in. We use mechanized airlock once we get around to it. And that breaks our med bay, but we'll give that an eight even. You can get a seven. You can get a six. No med bed built. Well, there's med beds. Oh, you need med beds. Oh, get done. Oh, someone mastered a job. But I don't think that matters right now. I think what matters is getting these med beds up. Because, well... They all have slime lung, don't they? That can kill a colony. And this might be the first time I kill a colony. Oh, this is three wide. Damn it. Might be the first time I kill a colony due to slime lung. Get a secondary med bay going. Can I just put it, like, in one of these rooms? I mean, they don't have to use the toilet that's in the room, right? Um, that means... Med bed here... And a table, right? Who's up? Is it just Nama? 
Dude, being research assistant, I need you to build. I need you to prioritize getting these people oxygen. So that maybe, just maybe, some of them will survive. Uh, give this priority a six as well. Flame lungs everywhere. Oxygen, deodorizer here. And then we'll get a med bay, med bed, put in here too. Then you'll have your own place to recover. Maybe. Now all our dupes are sick. <laughs> and I don't think they can help each other. Um, I don't think anybody's treating anybody. Okay, we need to take a look. Well, it looks like Nama should actually be our doctor. Sorry, Nama, I'm going to uh, disable this bed. You need to take care of other people. And I'm actually going to give your priorities the care. Well, the building base is probably going to help. I'll let Ruby get better, at least. And Ruby will recover in 2.1 cycles. And by that time, well... Slime Wong will have been all over the base because there's too much polluted oxygen for our deodorizers to take care of because they're waiting filtration mediums. But you know. <laughs> then maybe we could switch off the people who are taking care of each other. And of course our dupes are, are starving, because uh, no one's actually harvesting bees. I'm actually going to switch. Switch, um, Nama. Give a hand with the farming. I'll at least do something, and I am going to permit the meal lice to be consumed. Okay, so I think it's going to be more important for care uh, to happen than to actually do the farming. Farming is important just to keep people fed. But I bumped care errand up and farming down. Hopefully that'll keep uh, the slime lung at bay. 1.1 cycles. Nama needs to get her stuff treated. Fortunately, Ruby and Joshua should get out of here soon. And maybe they'll be able to do more stuff. Who's of Ruby and Joshua? Who has the most care skill? Kindness skill. This is Ruby, kindness two. Joshua, kindness zero. So Ruby will be taking care of people. All right, half a cycle more for Ruby. Nama's recovering on the floor. So she'll be the only one left um not treated ruby's almost cured almost cured we have to get nama into a bed i need to expand this place by one bed as well having oxygen also helps 14 seconds eight seconds nama gets a bed And, yep, stuff's being delivered. Life support. Let me give you... Here. Alright, let's see how Ruby's doing. Not great. Uh, but recovering. Because you feel better. Excellent. <laughs> I'm good on that. That means you two should feel better soon. And then we should be able to get up and running back to a productive colony. Once we clean up all this slime lung. And what I could do is I could open this and flood the colony with chlorine. I could.
could do that. Well, it looks like we're getting some oxygen here thanks to the expanded uh, deodorizers. This one should prevent this side, this polluted oxygen from moving out. Um, we probably... It's just this polluted oxygen pillar here that's causing me problems. So I'm going to say here and here. It's a bit excessive. Uh, but it might be beneficial. You know, I'm actually going to change the jobs up. But Joshua... Who's the next one up? Yeah. Joshua will be able to do that. So instead of being a gopher, he'll be a builder. Now, do we have a source of slime lung other, other than our dude? Not really. I think all these are sealed off. I'm actually going to say lock and lock. So those are our slime sides. And if anyone ever gets around to it, we can put up some uh, corn moldings, crown moldings here. Make the uh, med bay nice and pleasant because we might be spending a lot of time here. More than I had anticipated. Eventually this might be my containment room for um, polluted water. I'm thinking maybe ball lump here, here. And then we can get rid of some of this polluted water, which has been really creating all this polluted oxygen all over the place. It's this polluted here that's been creating all the polluted oxygen. There we go. Joshua's back in working order. Hey, another master job. While you're sick, even. Let's see, you're a sous chef. And we'll move you to be a builder. Once you actually get up, you can be a builder. It looks like we just, just avoided death by slime lung. Uh, we have a lot of normal oxygen now. We're getting the food of water cleaned up, and I'm having it moved over here um, to be to this bottle emptier, as you can see. Uh, so we're getting rid of a lot of... We got a more, which we do not want. Get that attacked and cleaned up. Uh, that happens when your houses are out of order and requires emptying for way too long. Um, so that will be... Well, that'll be just a thing. We had some food decay. Low immunity. Yep, not unsurprising. Uh, you've been running around... Trying to recover. Your immunity is going to get a hit. But we'll have the others just cycling out. Just in time. And we have... Well, we have most of the slime lung being cleaned up right now. We probably want to switch a lot of people over to uh, Groundskeeper. Uh, food and Groundskeeping. Food is actually... Ooh, not good. Uh, I was actually going to say we had a lot of food, but we don't actually have a lot of food. Uh, they need fertilization, which is dirt, I think. Right? Yeah, dirt. They really haven't been getting that. And I think uh, we'll, we should be able to recover from this shortly. Maybe? Ruby's about to go back into Slime Lung. Um, I'm going to make Nama... She's about to recover. And we don't need gophers. We need... Well, what's the jobs, actually? Builders? We need farmers? And we need cooks. I'm going to say, Joshua, you can be a cook. And who else is up? Rivaldo? You can be a farmer. And then Ruby can go back in here when she gets sick, as she will, uh, because we still have a lot of food auction. It's going away in the auction-related areas, but we do just have to get rid of it. Uh, and I'm actually thinking this food water needs to go away. Um, and maybe we just disable you guys. And then we'll stop creating food water from that. And, oh, this is almost done. Need a ladder. Need that out. And then that should be open. And then this just needs to be built. And then we'll have a water pump. 
Someone has to kill that warb. Thank you. And I'll get rid of some of the blue to oxygen problem from here. And we've almost got rid of all the polluted auction issues in the major areas. Yeah, the slime lungs dropping down to 4,000 in the auctionated areas. Um, so it should be improving just slowly. It might be a forever thing, though. Uh, polluted water. Sweet. A six. And let's just make sure this fluid of water is going. And for now, we'll, re we'll rely on the um, these the oxygen diff diffusers uh, to make our oxygen, because it will make, well, oxygen instead of polluted oxygen. There's still going to be some polluted oxygen problems in the near future. I think we can, we're finally at the point where we're on top of that. And our slime lung is getting is getting better. Alright. Well, this has been Movies Rex from Movies Art, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave us a like, subscribe to suggestions, and we'll be back with you very soon. Have a good day, and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.